All right. So we'll go facing that way. So you go up that way. So now what we've done, as you can see, we've chain linked them together. And this is going back to that theory of oscillation. We're using them like battling ropes. So what we need to do, so you go back a bit till they're nice and taut. Holding this or yep, so loop your hand in like I have. Yep, and you just keep hold with one hand because you'll come and join in at one stage. So this is real powerful. Because the longer you make it, the more it becomes about power as opposed to speed. Here is sort of more speed, like velocity, okay? But where this is really key is, it's not easy for Sarah. In fact, I dare say it's probably harder for Sarah than it is me when I'm active. It then flips. So there's virtually no rest point, okay? When you are the anchor being Sarah, you are nice and solid and in good grounding. We don't have to be hinged over at the hips, you're actually more solid being tall, right? And in this, it's not a flick like a whip crack when you do your battling ropes, it's together, the elbow and wrist together. Kind of like you're ringing a bell. Okay. Yep, so keep, your, keep pulled right back in, yep. And now, Sarah now is trying to hold against that oscillation. All right. Other parts that we can add into this is orientation. So she can be orientated different to me and doing different exercises different to me when I am her anchor. So you have now oscillating speed, which we can go any direction that we wish, no matter who's doing what. So if I hold here and you go for it, so you just start, that's it, go back till there's a little bit more tension on the band. Yep, and now go. That's it. There you go. And then the more you shake it, the more kinetic energy that's put into it. So this really works, the anchor person. It's not easy. So the anchor person is the one that's working? Really working here. Like it still works, the person being active. Yeah. All right? So your main one that you're working with is that straight up and down wave. Yeah. You can do this with two lots. So we've only chose three bands here. So if you had six bands, you can alternate it, right? Or if you put both hands in, we can go with two onto it. Like that flicking like horse reins, right? And you can see that's got much more force behind it. So you've got straight up and down waves, the sagittal plane waves. Sorry, stick there for a minute. Now, side to side, what we're doing is just short, sharp movements. It's our core that is actually flicking that out. So it's not big, long with the arms, little, little short ones. See here, and see I'm keeping it in tight. And it's all through my hips, my core, my arms are staying in tight. Just, yeah, just trying to keep retracted back and hold. All right, and still from here, we can circular like that. I can also change entirely and put myself in the frontal plane or diagonal here into my transverse plane. So I can swap. I can still add that base of support change. I can do all this, right? So can you. Give your arms a rest.